Why doesn't anyone love me? I'll say I like it, but I don't need it in my life. How's that? You're dead. You're gone. I don't even know who you are. You're vapor. So 30 and seems was more common than somebody not taking a call. 100%. 100%. 100%. I just underwhelmed everyone. I got the plain old turkey. I, like a true Italian, you got the meatball. Maybe you like spaghetti and meatball? This almost makes up for you never drinking coffee. And then Mike just keeping it true OG the with the grilled cheese and tomato soup. Top. And of course you have to put it on the gram or it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do my best to catch you every time you fall. Feel like I've been stretched so thin, but still I try to do it all. So we getting donuts? Yeah. After game time. After what time? Are game ready? time. How are you feeling about your first experience? Espo, you more excited for donuts or coffee? Is that a question? <laughs> donuts. It's the only way people will watch this video, Espo, is if you get a half dozen donuts. Scale one to ten, I'm probably at a nine point eight. For the coffee? For the donuts. <laughs> Coffee is about a five. All right, what's the coffee shop we're going to? Twelve fifteen. Twelve. I think you said one two one five to me earlier. One two one five is the same as twelve fifteen. I don't know what these guys are talking about. We're going to get coffee. Espo is trying coffee for the very first time. Yeah, that's a. That's tricky. Um, are you? Do you like sweet things? Do you? He's got a box full of donuts. So I would say. <laughs> this is about five bougie levels above where I usually drink. The answer to that is yes. You do need a straw, but for your first time, we're gonna ease you in. All right. It'll take some time. Get out. You're just gonna have to say it one more time because I have to have this documented. What did you say? Since my caffeine intake is minimum to none. All right, just stop right there. Whatever was about to come after that, <laughs> irrelevant. To a bar called Queen City Exchange. Now, Mike, break this down for us. How does this work? Just like the NASDAQ, supply, demand, price on that, and the stock market can crash, which basically means everybody gets drunk. So, does this mean we get cheap beer? We'll see what Nick can do for us. I really like this place already. If you guys didn't know, I was convinced when I was in college that I was gonna go to Wall Street and be a stockbroker, but I didn't feel like I had the capacity to take in that much cocaine, so. On a daily basis, I consume enough drugs to sedate Manhattan, Long Island, and Queens for a month. How excited are you to finally eat these? I'm hungry. Um, we had just had lunch, but because we, these have been stored away for a minute, yeah, I, I might have to eat all of them. It's gonna make them that much better. So if you eat all of these, can I title this food challenge? You can title it food challenge. All right. Bike, tire gets stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but not only does he get stuck, I fly through a guy's passenger driver's side uh, window. Nice. And broke the glass. What made it worse, he's sitting in the driver's seat. I landed in his lap. <laughs> no. -uh. Just took 50 bucks. <laughs> right. 50 bucks and a bag of Taste of Belgium waffles that I didn't have to pay for because JF was there. <laughs> But I know I feel like I won. Here's the real question. Bucks. Have you been back on a bike since? I have never gotten back on one of those damn bikes. <laughs> I just don't ever want to go down that route. I don't ever want to have a broken screen. I'm content right now. If something happened right now that was a life-changing moment for the worst, I'd be okay. I, I cannot even wait. For the Lucky Charms? Uh, they are really good. Not gonna lie. Why are you 
so single, Danny. Is Corey coming for dinner? Yeah, he's coming. What time? Uh, it'll be any here any time now. Well, I'm really glad I wore my movement watch today so I can tell what time Corey is coming to meet us for dinner. We're gonna have a great night out on the town and if you guys don't know, I do work closely with movement. They've been nice enough to sponsor this video. Espo, how, how nice is this watch? That's an incredible watch. I mean, he's not the only one that thinks so. And if you guys didn't know, you can get these stylish watches for right around $99. And you can get 15% off of that using Travis, free shipping, free returns. I will leave that link down below. And then you can get all types of compliments. You don't have to be single for the rest of your life. You could have been doing anything. You could have been right doing there. anything. <laughs> all right, dude, see you soon. All right, later. Later. Saturday almost all day. I want everyone to thank Mike for bringing me to a restaurant that's not fancy. I got you. I appreciate that. This is the least fancy place in OTR, and I'm very grateful for that. I think we're officially the most sober people here. Okay, we get to be on YouTube. Ready? What's Welcome, Rich Homie. What's up? Welcome. I moved over by the couple. I was feeling too single, so I wanted to feel loved. <laughs> so I came over by the man himself. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate being part of your small little family. Thank you. I could be like your dog. Or actually, I guess be your cat. No, that's not. I couldn't be your cat. We could be millionaires if this kid is making money. All Check his MySpace. We went with the salmon sandwich. We're being super healthy over here, guys. I don't know about y'all. What is? Look at Corey just going hard. We got some tacos. Some tots. I feel like I got the absolute most out of everybody. That's not making the cut. <laughs> In case you're wondering, this is why I can't get people to hang out with me in real life. And this is also the closest I've ever been to a woman, so this is pretty cool. <laughs> My life is so embarrassing, guys. So embarrassing. Oh, so as, as a non-marketing guy, talk me through this watch. Talk me through this timepiece right here. So this watch is actually a very exclusive piece of art right here, but the good part about it is you can always save 15% using what? Travis at checkout. Yeah. And do where? And free shipping and free returns. Oh. That's a deal. So, Single. Singles. Singles. Couples, losers. So I get lonely some nights when the angels on my shoulder slam the head. I'm stuck here with a vulture. Do something romantic. It's immensely. You didn't. That's gonna look so good in slow motion. Daily I've been feeling like I'm all alone. Hotels and airplanes is what I call home. I might need somebody. I don't trust nobody. So I guess I'm really on my own. I've been feeling like I'm all alone Hotels and airplanes is what I call home so this video was meant to be somewhat comical, somewhat relevant, because Valentine's Day was last week and all the single people were crying. Why am I all alone? What am I gonna do? And also, I get this question almost every single day. Trav, why are you still single? You're almost 30 years old. Are you ever, are you ever gonna go out and meet someone? And I'm sure a lot of you guys have gotten to these questions before. So let's break this down to a few pieces very, very quickly. One, I don't think being single is necessarily a bad thing inherently. Um, I do feel like you need, to, you need to be able to make yourself happy before you can make anybody else happy. Now, in my opinion, to be completely fulfilled in life, there has to be someone else. There has to be love, you know, but I feel like some people just go chasing it. And I, this might be a little bit controversial. I feel like most people are in relationships because they feel like they have to be and they feel like they just need someone, but it's not necessarily the right person. Now, finding that right person is not going to be easy, and that's, I guess, I'm almost 30, and I, I've proven that, right? But maybe it won't be your next door neighbor. Maybe you might have to put some work and some effort into finding that person, but I would much prefer that than just to be with someone that I don't even want to be with. I think that's why the divorce rate's so high. I also think that's why a lot of people quite frankly, who live miserably, and, and I don't want that, you know? I, do you guys watch This Is Us? I feel like there's always going to be a Jack to your Rebecca or a Rebecca to your Jack, you know? They're just like the perfect couple that's meant to be together, and we all know relationships like that, and I think there's someone out there for everyone if you actually put a little bit of work in, so... I'm not interested in meeting anyone. I'm not interested in meeting your sister or your your best friend or whatever crazy DMs I've gotten in the past. I appreciate your guys' concern, but I'm, I'm a grown man. I can figure it out, guys. I, I know what I'm doing out here. I don't need to date around. I, 
we're good, all right? So that's how we're gonna end it. Don't let people tell you that you're doing something wrong. You, you're fine, don't worry about it. I don't wanna hear about your biological clock. I don't wanna hear, th that's it. We're cutting the video off here. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I had so much fun making this one. I love it when I bring my friends into these videos. So much better than just me sitting in my kitchen. If you're new, subscribe. It was really great to have you here. I look forward to talking to you guys next time. <laughs> Should I come, after you do this, I come running around the corner asking if you're all right? Are you okay?